we say about Saturday nights? Good, bad, boring, exciting. I suppose for the game that uh, went down at one point it was great, but realistically, Australia couldn't even get over the try line. The Blacks did get over three tries, but two disallowed. And uh, it was quite uh, fascinating to hear on the Friday night that uh, Graham Henry, the All Black coach, actually said the game's boring. Now, I've heard that somewhere before, but I don't know where. What can you say about the Wallabies? Is there many brains amongst these guys? Like, why wouldn't you have a drop goal with a couple of seconds ago? Why was so important to score the try? For the first 79 minutes of the game, we couldn't score one try. So you think you're going to score in the last 10 seconds. Guys, a bit of maturity, a bit of um, thinking should go on, and a bit of patience. The referee again, Mr. Kaplan. I think now it's 11 test matches he's ref Australia, and we've only won one. So, Jonathan, we haven't got a great record with you guys, mate, so why don't you next time try and be consistent for the whole 80 minutes instead of penalise one team for 40 minutes and the other side, just like you've changed sides as well, and you change to help the opposition. But again, the Blacks have got more patience. Uh, Dan Carter, great player, and they deserve to win on the night. These guys have got a lot more pride. They've got to go out there and bash the box. Don't give them the ball. Can you read my lips? Don't give the ball away. In our day when the Fords used to give us a ball and we kicked it away, they said, right, you're not getting the ball from now on. And we used to be starved. And we learned our lesson. When you've got it, control the ball. Think as the team. Again, we, we've been talking about it week in, week out for, for months and months. Uh, and I think Graham Henry's right. You should be rewarded for scoring the try, putting the ball in the hand. And we're not doing that. And again, it's the IRB. The laws over there, they're trying to destroy the game. As I keep on saying, bring back rucking. Bring back rucking. If you bring that back, no one's going to be penalised at the, at the breakdown, which at the moment is absolute debacle, and the referee, it's a guess, left, right and centre. Luke Patton, I believe, is a rugby league player for the Bulldogs. He wants to become a referee when he retires. How silly is that? I don't think I've known of any other rugby player or rugby league player, once they retire, wants to become a referee. Obviously this guy's been paid a bit of money to say that, but I tell you he's got rocks in his head. You can't not expect to turn up the last cricket test and get 160 all outs in your first innings. You cannot win. So the England's well done guys, you deserve it. Freddie uh, Flintoff, last test, congratulations, great career. And he went out in the high and he got some runs, and that's great. And it's great to see Ricky Ponny go up to him and congratulate him uh, when he came in the bat in the second innings. But that's great sportsmanship, and everyone seems to forget that when you lose. Isn't that funny to see all these grown men with this little cup that's about that big? And they stand there like this. It's fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> that's a waste. Now, athletics. We don't talk a lot about athletics, but uh, I tell you, the, the World Championship has been great for Australia. The first time in many, many years we've actually won some gold medals in the field events, which is a very unusual. Mark Webber finished ninth. Not great, but uh, Mark, keep up there, mate. You're going well. And another thing, newsflash, Lottie de Kier in the AU have just settled. We don't know what's going to happen, why they settled, and we never will. Okay, what's happening here? Uh, not much. We're just I want to come up, ask a few questions about rugby in the country. Yep. Just want to know your thoughts on the possibility of... You really want to know my thoughts? Yeah. This could be interesting. Bringing a Super 14 troll down to the lovely Shoal Haven. Great right. facilities, great field. Okay, look, I think that the... Um, one of the biggest problems at the moment is that it'd be great to do that, but we haven't got... We're not doing well. Yeah. And uh, a trial would be great. Um, it'd be good to actually go down there and, and actually have uh, a lot of the locals and... Uh, the prospect of the young guys playing against the New South Wales team. I think that's great, like the old days. But um, don't hold your breath, eh? Uh, I did actually meet the uh, New South Wales marketing lady last week, and I actually said to her, good luck, because they've got no idea what they're doing. Honestly, no idea. It's absolutely disgraceful. But anyway, let's go up here. You've got to have the product there, don't you? We have to have a product there, yes. If you haven't got the product, doesn't matter who you put in front, you're not going to sell. Yeah. Another issue in uh, our local area, the AFL is just booming it in the schools, the Auskick program. Uh, our club through our sponsors, Rico and Shalavik Service, we'll give them a plug. Yep. They're looking um, at doing our own program into the schools. Yep. Without any funding from the ARU, what are your thoughts on that? 
Look, I think it's um, we've struggled over the years, and uh, look, you know, when you win World Cups, it's great because you're on a high and everyone wants to play. But the problem is now is that um, they're worried about the Wallabies, and all the money goes there. That should be actually grassroots is where everything starts. And if you haven't got grassroots, obviously you struggle. The Aussie Rules has got about twenty million dollar budget. I think rugby's got none. So look, if your sponsors can do it and are successful, well, it's fantastic. But I think you need to get some players down there as well. Yeah. Um, try and get New South Wales rugby to get a couple of players to go down there to promote it, to do a co coaching clinic or something like that, to get the enthusiasm going. It's very difficult to do it if you haven't got the names, because yeah. all the young kids want to see the stars. But again, if you'll get them, mate, good luck. Uh, another issue, we're losing a lot of our country players into the Colts in Sydney. And yep. You know, the country clubs are paying to develop these guys, putting in a bit of money, a bit of time. What do you think? Do you think they should get anything in return? Yeah, I think what should happen is uh, maybe if that's the case and you guys develop the plays and you actually put fork out money, I reckon if they do come to the Sydney and I do it, the clubs should actually be paying for the service. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's a professional sport now. When you get to a certain level, you, might, you give us some money back. Yeah, that's right. I think yeah. it's fair. What do you reckon, guys? Again, if you don't, if you disagree, I just think it's you know it's no good developing all the time. Uh, you've got to get something back if you put all the effort in. Anyway, www.11kabama.tv. Come and see us at 140 George Street, The Rock, Sydney, or davidcampese.com. Anyway, guys, see you next week. Thanks, Pierre. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks for coming out. Pleasure, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.